So what can possibly happen if you plan to go to space without a space suit? We all have this childhood dream of being an astronaut and visiting outer space. For astronauts, space suits form an integral part of their space travel. It protects them from many dangers that they might face. But what really are the dangers that you are likely to face if you plan to go for a space visit? And how does our dear space suit protect us? Let's divide our journey into two parts. First, when you are launching yourself in a rocket from ground till the time before you enter space. And secondly, after reaching space station and taking a power nap, you decide to go out for a spacewalk. So let's begin. Our first part of journey begins at launching yourself in rocket at a whooping speed of 40,000 km per hour, which is 11.2 km per second. To just give you an idea of how large this value is, imagine yourself doing 5 round trips of north-south corridor of India from Srinagar to Kanyakumari in just one hour. Amazing, isn't it? But why do we need such a high speed? You know, the earth tries to pull every object towards its center. So in order to escape its pull, you need a minimum speed, also known as earth escape velocity, to reach outer space. This speed is dependent on the mass of the planet and its radius. So this means that during the takeoff, you will experience tremendous force as the rocket accelerates. But don't worry, the force one experience will not exceed 3G because once we achieve this required acceleration, the throttle of the engine will be pulled down. Oh, you must be wondering, what is this 3G? The normal pull of gravity on Earth is the force that we call 1G. Here G refers to nothing but acceleration due to gravity of Earth, that is 9.8 meter per second square. When this G force increases, the weight of your body also increases and you start to feel much heavier. Thus, if you weigh 50 kg on Earth, you would actually weigh 150 kg when a force equivalent to 3G is acting on you. Amazing, isn't it? So let me ask you a question. Is high G force dangerous to us? Indeed, it is. A G force larger than 9G is actually very dangerous and it can cause you to black out and lose your consciousness. It's also called G-lock or G-induced loss of consciousness. But why do one black out? The high G-force will make it difficult for your heart to pump blood upwards toward your brain and thus it will put enormous stress on your body. However, don't worry. Here our special suit, also known as G-suit or pressure suit, comes to rescue. This suit will inhibit the blood accumulation in the lower parts of your body, thus preventing blackout. Also, our rocket designers are very clever. They design seating in such a way that you lie in sleeping position, which will make it easier for your heart to do its work. The G-suit, the clever seating arrangement and control acceleration of rocket saved our day. And now finally, as you have arrived at this space station, it's time for you to take a power nap and then the much awaited spacewalk. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about the dangers of going for a spacewalk without a spacesuit. Good night, sleep well.